guys, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to show you how to set your Canon 250D, the Wi-Fi settings, and get it connected to your smartphone. So let's get started. So I'm just going to turn this camera around. Okay, so let's turn it around. And here's my LCD screen. I'm going to switch it on. So it's, the power's on. So you've got your normal screen, obviously, for your settings, for your aperture, shutter, and your ISO. We don't necessarily want to use these for this particular um, setting. So what we'll do is click on the menu button, which is up on there. So we click on the menu button and it will take us to our menu, main menu, okay? And uh, if you hover through like this, it gives you obviously all your normal settings for your camera. So your, um, you know, your one shot, your um, image erase, erase tab, um, and all those other things that you, you know, you're used to. But the one I want to go to is this one here with a little symbol here, it looks like a Wi-Fi symbol. And here are all your Wi-Fi connectivity. So what you need to do is you need to obviously first of all go to I think you should name it first so go to name and name it so mine's called 511 and it's it's basically touch screen so you can add letters to it um, and you can sort of you know when you're happy with it you can press OK and it will um, it will uh, save your name so mine's called 511 um, then you've got uh, GPS settings if you want to you know select GPS so you can have a GPS receiver on this as well and you can set that up okay so that's now I think set up so if you want to track where your photographs and your videos being taken and you can also clear all your Wi-Fi settings as well so those are the three kind of standard things the one that you need to focus on is this one which is the first one connect to a smartphone other device or web services so click on that and you can already see there's a, a phone attached to it. so if you click if you click on this icon here you can hover through it like this so the one you've got a phone okay you've got phone you've got a um, computer You've got printing, so if you click on that one, it's print to a printer. So you might want to print direct from this to your printer, for example, if you've got a wireless printer at home. You've got your laptop, if you want to connect it to a laptop, and you've got this cloud, which I think is online sort of kind of OneDrive type scenario where you can upload all your images direct from this to your OneDrive. I think that's useful. So if I select that, um, scroll across agree, um, it will look for connectivity so uh, if I select um, WPS and I can connect to my uh, network okay so I'm just gonna go cancel that um, I'm gonna cancel that I'm gonna go back to here and here you've got some Wi-Fi connectivities as well okay um, so those are quite useful cancel that again um, I don't want to connect to the to the internet territory so I want to connect to my smartphone so I'm gonna click on this icon here and I'm gonna press OK now there's already a phone on there. There's edit, delete, or device set setting. So there's a, a phone on there already. I'm gonna go a bit after, um, just go back one step and go to add um, and receive to connect to a device. And here it will say Android or iOS. So obviously there's an iOS phone at, um, already connected to this. I'm gonna go to Android, click on that, and a QR button comes up. So what you need to do is get your smartphone, take a picture, and it will take you to the app store on your phone to download the Canon app and then you have to set up your phone and pair it to your camera so I'm going to try to do that on my phone right now let's give it a go let's see if this works I've got a camera now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this camera and I'm just going to flick across it and it will your QR button will come up press OK to that and then it will take me to the um, app store and then you need to basically click on open and then download the app and then go through the settings on here to connect your phone to your smart to your camera to your smartphone and it's 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 as easy as that to tell you the truth and once you've got it set up then what you can do is you can go to your menu so say for example you've taken a picture and you've connected this via your smartphone via this feature I've just shown you so if you click on a picture for example I've got this picture here and I go to info then I've got this icon here so if I click on, so if I bring that a bit closer, I don't know if you can see it, there we go, this icon here. So if I click on this icon here and say send it to my smartphone, it will send directly to my smartphone. Now what I've noticed with one of these, these um, Android phones, it doesn't work as well, but if you've got a smartphone, um, it works much better. So it's worth, you know, I've got a smartphone and it's connected to the smartphone and it's, I've been sending pictures. But with Android, it doesn't work as well, maybe it's because it's Canon and it's Apple and all the rest of it so um, but yeah just check that out and see if it works um, and give me a shout out for any questions you may have thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one